getting it in hands than, than trying to get people to buy it. After initially. this, remind me. Oh, I fancy a rum and coke. I'm going to have a clean rum and coke. You know, I fancy uh, a margarita. I'm going to have a clean margarita. I want you to be able to have any alcoholic cocktail you want, taste the exact same way that it always has for you, but without the alcohol. Well, I'll say, yeah, I'll say yeah. to David Beckham, you know, you, uh, well, you, 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 you drink this and you won't get caught down in from a personal perspective, it started when I, when I uh, dramatically changed my relationship with alcohol. I used to be a kind of general uh, consumer of alcohol to the point where it was just a part of my very normal life. Uh, not looking to point the finger at kind of profession, my professional uh, career, but I, I had jobs where it was just very normal to, to have drinks after work or entertain clients or um, I ran nightclubs for a while. So alcohol was kind of a, a part of my um, a part of me almost, it was just completely normal. Uh, uh, I began to feel my um, potential kind of slipping away. Category, so you could either fight if you were more exposed to people, less exposed, you never let me fight. And that is good. <laughs> the, that's one thing I do love though about, about Jiu-Jitsu is you can... You one night I, w I was at a dinner party and somebody offered me a, an alcohol-free gin and tonic and I was about three months sober at this point, and I'd never heard of that. I'd never heard the, 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 the gin and tonic alcohol-free thing be, being uh, thrown around in, in the same sentence, let alone in the same drink, and it was, it was a seed lip. Uh, it was, uh, it just fascinated me. Yeah, I was just like, oh. No, no, I know absolutely nothing, but I do enjoy it when they're all chasing I actually, I gamble on, I gamble on the bit more sparkly. I think that was just sat there for a yeah, yeah. Anyway, We're tasting yeah. the rum and coke at yeah. four. The, the market for moderation is much bigger than the market for abstinence in this, is in this country anyway. So our target is to live alongside and coexist with alcohol and just be a kind of replacement, but not all the time. So of course sober people will drink our drinks, but it's, but it's designed uh, for if you're out and about and you're going to have four or five gin and tonics, maybe have two gin and tonics and two clean gin and tonics. Yeah.